What's up guys? Today we have Realme C12 LCD replacement. The full unlocked lock smashed. We need to remove the SIM card slot before we are trying to remove the housing. Just be careful with the fingerprint flex cable. It's at the other end, not at the back housing. We have some screws to remove. You can remove one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you can remove the bracket shield. You can now unplug the battery first. Then we are going to remove the battery. There is no need to remove the loudspeaker on there because the screen flex cable comes under the battery. So no need to remove the loudspeaker screws or the loudspeaker itself. You can now push the battery. Be careful while you are pushing. We don't need to pent the battery. It's very dangerous. We have one flex cable to the screen and the other flex cable connected the subboard to the main board. We need both flex cables to be intact and not damaged, especially the subboard to the main board. The screen flex cable could be damaged or you can damage it because we are going to replace it. All right, this is the battery. It has been removed. Now you can unplug the screen flex cable. After that, we will flip the phone and then remove the screen. I'm going to put the screw that back again because we don't need it. Somehow the screen is out because of the pant. All right, or the damaged. There is too much glass. Be careful not to injure your hands. This is very important. Now, as always, we are going to clean all over the frame. We have uh, the shield for the ear speaker. We have some dust. I'm going to clean it. Then I will put it on, on place. We need to clean all over the frame in order if there is a broken glass, any tiny pieces of glass, any dust, anything. We need to clean it. Then we can bring the screen and test before we assemble the new LCD. This is very important. Sometimes the screen could be damaged. I'm checking if the screen is fitting without any problem. I have already turned on the device and tested the screen. So I'm now I'm going to proceed to put the, the adhesive, the glue, and then I will assemble the screen on position. It's important also to put the shield ear speaker in place because we don't need dust or anything goes onto the ear speaker and then will go to the camera. This is a black adhesive. I have to use it for the black screens instead of the no color be careful where you put the glow not near the camera not near the air speaker and be careful where is the sensors of this phone this is very important we don't need to block 
the pieces or the components. Remove all stickers from the new screen and then you can put the screen on the position. Now, all you have to do is to assemble the phone as it was and that's it. We were able to solve this problem and replace the new LCD for the customer. If you have any questions, you can just write it down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. We will do something else in the next video. Peace.